Welcome back, my amazing fellow freedom fighters and lovers of freedom, my returning subscribers and those who are watching from a distance. You guys are amazingly awesome. Peace and tranquility. Those who are watching from a distance, can you go ahead and do me a favor, smack the red button and click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this very particular video, one of our brother is asking a question, which I myself am asking too. Why have the IBOB media warrior abandoned their duty post and they are attacking Simon Nekba, who is 100 men that Nam De Kano is looking for? A man who has stood on his ground to, to fight and to expose the deed of the Fulani and their evil plot against us. When are we guys going to stop this obsession against Simon Nekba and face our responsibility because a day of reckoning is coming? Look, Mazen share Nekan this is message not going to die in the and let it it's get coming. to we to the leadership of IPOB. Share this message and let it get to the leadership of IPOB. All the Facebook agitators for Biafra restoration, you should know your assignment. In case you do not know your assignment, somebody should remind you. And the leadership have failed to tell you what your assignment is. Your assignment is not to analyze the videos of Simon Ekba. Your assignment is not to attack Simon Ekba. That is not your assignment. Your assignment is not to criticize and fight Simon Ekba. That is not your assignment. Your assignment is to wage war wage media war against the Fulani Caliphate Janjaweed. That is your assignment. In case you do not know, your assignment is to create awareness for the release of our leader. That is your assignment. That is your assignment. Your assignment is not to attack Simon Epa, hate on him, or fight him. That is not your assignment. And I'm saying this with every element of this agitation in me. With the spirit and the unction of our leader, Mazen Nam Kano. Because some of you have become so sick and so obsessed against Simon Ekpa that you no longer have anything. You don't have anything against the zoo anymore. You don't have anything against the Fulani headsmen or terrorists anymore. You don't have anything against Sheikh Gumi. You have nothing against them anymore. The only person you have something against now is Simon Ekba. I'm saying this because to be forewarned is to be forehand. God will punish every one of you from henceforth. Every one of you from henceforth that will abandon your assignment and then you begin to focus on fighting Simon Ekba. God will begin to destroy every one of you. It is not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. You have an assignment. Your assignment is to keep creating awareness for all the nonsense that this zoo government are doing. They kidnapped our leader from Kenya. Our leader is not a Nigerian. Our leader is a Biafran and his citizenship is British. They kidnapped him in Kenya. You have left your assignment. And all you are doing every day is come on Facebook and attack Simon Epa. Enough. The leadership of IPOB, you are fair to call these brutes to order. You are fair to call these mad dogs to order. Because you have become mad and crazy that you no longer know what you are supposed to do. All you are doing now is to come on Facebook and throw tantrums and attacks on Simon Ekba. Is that what will give you Biafra? Is that what will bring our leader Onyendu out of uh, Fulani's uh, uh, Jangawi detention? Eh? Is that what will bring, bring our leader out? Is that what will give us Biafra? I'm asking you. And now, the leadership of this struggle have refused to do the needful by calling these people to order and tell them to focus on what we are supposed to be doing now. Look, 
What made IPO be formidable and solid is our pattern of media war. What brought us this far? Let me tell you, it's not even command and control that brought us this far. What brought us this far is our resoluteness, our doggedness on the media. Our presence on the media made us what we are today. We have been very, very vocal on the media. We have been speaking everywhere. Our voices are being heard everywhere on the media space. That is what made us formidable. That is what brought us to the extent of what we are today. Our media presence is not constituting nuisance on the media. Constituting nuisance on the media didn't bring us this far. Fighting one another on the media space did not bring us this far. So get off this media war and face the Fulani Caliphate and face the Janja weed. What nonsense is this? What rubbish? Look, that somebody is calling to order. Simon Eta is calling to order the things that are going wrong. Simon Eta has never waged war against the leadership of this struggle. I am still looking for where Simon Eta waged war against DOS. Show me where he waged war against DOS. Can somebody show me anywhere on Simon Eta's uh, media space that he waged war against the leadership of IPOB? Where? Can you show me where? What is wrong with you people? Why are you ignoring what is necessary? What will give us consistent, you know, solidity in the media space? What will keep us, you know, relevant in the media space? You are ignoring it. And now every Tom, Dick, and Harry comes on the Facebook. Simon Eta, Simon Eta, Simon Eta, Simon Eta. Look at what Simon Eta said yesterday. Look at what he said yesterday. He did not say it well. He attacked this, he attacked that. What bullshit. What rubbish. Look. That God eh, is being patient with you people doesn't mean that God doesn't know what he's doing. God is being patient with you people and watching you continue throwing all this rubbish on the media space and destroying the good name of IPOB. Look, IPOB have come this far because of our integrity and our resoluteness in the face of this tyranny. We have stood firm with our integrity. We have stood firm. And we, we are not a corrupt people. We are in, a very sincere, intelligent, accurate people. That is what we are known for. IPOB, whiter than white and whiter than snow. Do not dent us with this rubbish. Stop it now. Stop it now because vengeance will begin to hit on every one of you that is ignoring what you are supposed to do, that is leaving the main assignment that Tuko Kikabiyama has given to us and then you are fighting your brother. You are fighting your brother. You are fighting your brother. You are fighting a dogged, solid soldier in the front line. Simon Eta is a soldier on the front line and you are fighting him. God will punish you with unreserved punishment. God will strike you all with evil if you don't stop. If you don't stop. If you don't stop. Now, this warning is coming to you leadership of this very struggle. Call these boys. Call those girls. Call them to order. Now. Call them to order now. I am saying this because it is not a joke. Enough of this play and enough of this joke. Stop them now. Stop them now. They are dragging our names in the mud. And people like me, Rafael Chamaka Ajere, will not stand by and watch this nonsense continue. It has to stop. It has to stop.
And the time for it to stop is now. It has to stop now. What rubbish. Look at what happened today. JB, we are supposed to have been getting updates from our lawyers. Are we not supposed to be getting updates from our lawyers? Our lawyers, immediately they come from visiting our leader, Mazinam de Okukano. They come and they give us updates. It has been the pattern. And then suddenly yesterday, we did not get any updates from our lawyers. We didn't get any updates from them. And because Simon Epa, who is supposed to be, who knows very well how the legal profession runs, and knows the legal pattern, did not hear from them, and he did not pass the message. Because the message has always come from the legal, uh, 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 our legal team. And then he responded and said, no, the message you people are sharing, I, I didn't get it from them. And 30 minutes into his broadcast yesterday, Ifanye Jofo now updated his Facebook page. Last night. And that was when Simon Ekpa began to act on it. And why did Ifanye Jofo and the legal team act that way? We do not know yet. And I don't want it to be a subject that we will begin to fight our legal team. Our legal team, I give them kudos for what they have done so far. But what happened yesterday is not, is not acceptable. It's not acceptable at all, at all. Because it was completely a, a, opposite what they have always been putting up there. Completely uh, 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 something else happened yesterday. And then what did Simon Epa do? What he did was, he didn't, he didn't hear anything from them. And if we did not hear anything from this, our legal team, we are not supposed to believe anything until it comes from them. That is it. Simon Epa did not attack GOS for posting whatever update they received. He didn't attack them. All he said was that this update did not come from the legal team. He had nothing against the legal team. He had nothing against the leadership. Nothing whatsoever. Then these E-rats are coming up from every corner. They pick up on Simon Epa's broadcast yesterday and begin to insult and fight. Fighting your brother? For what reason? Reasons I cannot explain. Are you guys sick in the head? Is something wrong with you? If you have no sense, can't you borrow some from somewhere else? What is wrong with all of you? Now, the legal team should be very careful never to allow such thing to repeat itself. We expect them to update us as at, at, at when due. Update us at the right time. We don't need update from any other place as far as legal issues are concerned. It has to come from the legal team. That is normal. It is normal. We, no, but nobody is telling you that DOS lied about the apples. Nobody is fighting DOS. Nobody. Like personally, I did not share anything. I saw people posting this. I did not. Because I will only follow the legal procedure. We are IPOB. We are whiter than white and we are whiter than snow. This nonsense going on in the name of IPOB and in the name of Biafra struggle and agitation must stop. Let us focus. Let us face our foe. Let us face our enemies. Let us face the devils that are against us. Enough of fighting your brother. Enough of fighting your brother. Please leadership thank you for watching if the video interests you please share